Hello Internet, my name is Lave, and I haven't been to the cinema to see a new release today, but I was tweeted by G at Sculptors who asked me to look at a film from 2015-2016 which completely flew under my radar, I didn't know anything about it. It's called The Violators and it's directed and written by Helen Walsh in her film debut. Set in Cheshire, Northern England, it follows the life of a young, attractive but troubled girl called Shelley, living with her little half-brother Jerome under the legal guardianship of their deadbeat older brother Andy who is a spitting image of Carl Pilkington. And times are tough for them, they're basically living in poverty, Shelley likes a doobie from time to time so she steals bits and bobs to raise enough money to buy some, Andy is cheating the benefit system, the director here isn't really pulling any punches, it sort of reminds me of a Ken Loach film but it does take it further as we are introduced to other characters who are in their proximity. Proximity, in particular a character called Mickey Finnegan who is working at a pawn shop. He also is a debt collector and he is also a paedophile and has got his sights set on Shelley. Yeah, this guy is a proper scumbag who begins to worm his way into Shelley's life and starts to groom her. All the while this is happening, another girl who's watching from a distance on the outskirts called Rachel is also plotting something by herself and you're never really clear what her motivations are. You're always asking, is she actually there to help or not? Performance-wise, the majority of the cast do a decent job. The standouts for me were Stephen Lord as Mickey Finnegan. I hated this guy's guts. He's a horrible, horrible, despicable person and that really comes through in his performance. I really did hate this guy's gut. The other standout for me was actually Brogan Ellis as the girl Rachel. She's a mysterious character and she plays it brilliantly. I think this girl has got a career ahead of her. Lauren McQueen puts in a decent performance as Shelley. It was a bit more uneven than Brogan Ellis's Rachel for me. I did wonder on a few occasions if they could have done maybe another take just because of her delivery sometimes, but overall a solid decent performance from her. And likewise, there are a couple of moments with the kid that played Jerome that brought me out of the film because, well, child actors, but what are you going to do? In terms of the direction and the visuals, Walsh and her DP, Tobin Jones, capture the harsh, grimy reality of the world that their characters are inhabiting beautifully with some really lovely framed shots. On a few occasions there were a couple of shots that were a bit out of focus and I wasn't sure if it was a deliberate thing as a stylistic choice but I think I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. But on that note there were also moments where I couldn't understand what some of the characters were saying. It wasn't because of their accents which aren't particularly heavy, I just couldn't understand what they were saying and I had to rewind it to put the subtitles on. I don't know if they had any problems in ADR or looping but I couldn't understand what they were saying on a couple of occasions. But what really shines through for me is actually Walsh's storytelling and treatment of her well-realized characters who are introduced to us and developed in a really organic way. You're not given everything you need to know about these characters straight from the off. Instead, as the film progresses, they get more depth as you find out more about their past, in particular with regards to Shelley's father, who is also a son of a bitch. You see him in a couple of flashbacks, which are a bit jarring because it's not very in keeping with the linear fashion of the rest of the film but it is really impactful and even though he's not in it that much his presence is felt throughout the film and all of these characters are sort of floating around each other and then everything comes to a head where everything becomes clear it goes a bit twisty as well but I will say that I was disappointed with how this film ends it just feels like a bit of a cop-out when compared to the rest of the film which builds up the tension and suspense really rather nicely. So that's my thoughts on The Violators and pause the video if you want to take a closer look at my enjoyment tracker now. This is a gritty drama which isn't going to be to everyone's taste. It really does go to some dark places but then life isn't all sunshine and rainbows and I praise this film for not sugarcoating it in any way. In terms of filmmaking as well I actually think this is a decent debut. I'll be interested to see what Helen Walsh is going to do next. You can actually watch this film
film if you're interested on Netflix in the UK right now. Thanks once again to Sculptor for the recommendation. I hadn't seen it or heard of it, so I was really interested to find out. I know you didn't like it too much, but I thought it was okay. And if anyone else has any other recommendations of films they'd like me to review, let me know in the comments down below. I am on Twitter and Facebook, but YouTube is my home. And if I can fit it into my schedule, I will do. I know someone has asked me to review Now You See Me Too. I'm waiting for that to come on UK television and then I will do that. But in the meantime, thanks very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you can give this video a like and don't forget to share the link. Subscribe.